Jake, back to this Roman Catholicism captivity of the mind, man. You want to bring them back to Christianity, man. That's bullshit, man. You know? And like the beloved Apostle R said, if, if the Edomites are going to burn in hell, where are we going to get slaves from? You know? Can I make a point, bro? Yeah, and also, too, even with the old and new, uh, you know, like you say, first and second death, because the Lord, he's not creating no new spirit, so how, how could he give that commandment to be fruitful and multiply if everybody down there burning? Woo! It wouldn't make sense. There we go. And even on this side, just to kill that, to, to, to kill that doctrine, uh, go back to the account of Saul in the week when she summoned up Samuel. And Samuel, what did Samuel say? She said, he said, I was asleep. Why did you wake me? So that kills the hell doctrine right there. And he, and he told him, and we know how wicked Saul was, why, how he, you know, became. Right. Ultimately, the Lord, you know, put an evil spirit on him. And basically, um, you know, let's deal with a uh, with surface level, you know. Or let's deal with with, with child um way of thinking. Okay, a according to uh the way you think, Saul would have went to hell because of him being wicked, him wanting to uh, murder uh David. But but uh Samuel, when he was summoned, you know, because he was brought from the spirit world, uh, Samuel had told uh, King Saul, well, you know what, y'all gonna go to war with the Philistines. You're gonna lose, and tomorrow you and your son are gonna be with me. Right. And, and and Samuel, he was in the place what you call heaven. He was in the spirit world. So, like the brother said, like how would have said, that cuts that hell heresy. All right? 